Hi everyone and welcome back to another weekly basket. This is the, officially the last full week of March that we have. Next week it's going to be partly March and going into April. Really and truly I can't believe where all this time has elapsed because it to me, I was just back from vacation and shopping through my collection. Weekly baskets are where you just go through your collection and you try to use up, you put aside makeup for a particular week and you stick to using that particular makeup for a week. And it's really good for those who are into project planning or planning challenges or MTs challenges where you're trying to use up that you stick to these items. For me, I work with both. I like to mix what I'm using in weekly baskets and also products that I want that I've just purchased and I want to try out and also some oldies products that have been in my collection but don't get any love more or less weekly baskets you shop through a collection put it everything together and then you use that for that particular week so let's get on to what I'll be using for my face for this week so for primers, I am using the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer. It is a more or less white based like silicone primer and I have a review on this primer on this channel that you can check out. For foundations, I am using three, I'm going to try out three Jordana um, Complete Cover Maximum Coverage 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. I purchased 06 which is called Honey Olive. I have Neutral Olive 07, I used this last week in last week's basket and this dark color is called 08 Golden Olive. So more or less if these two don't match, I'll definitely have a darker color to mix to make sure. And I have one more foundation, this is the Acne Fighting Foundation from ELF in Buff. Sand is actually a perfect match for me but I bought this also and I think this is like maybe halfway in the process so I just want to start using it up because I have way too many half emptied or half filled foundation I don't know about you do you have I have a ton load of foundations that I need to maybe get rid of but I have a lot that I've just tried tried as a beauty blogger you know you try it out and then you put aside you move to another one so I think from now on I'm going to try and incorporate them I've actually been good at working on them in my project pans so I'm thinking that might be headed there for my next rotation that starts in April. To set it, I have two powders. My Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. This is in Honey Medium. And I have this BH Studio Pro in, these are matte finish by the way, in shade 237. This is a tad darker for me so that it works perfectly with light foundations. So for contouring so that's the powder so contouring I have my Lorac tantalizer and highlight highlights and matte bronzer duo so this is where it's at I have a good dent in my bronzer so I want to work on this and for blushes so I have highlights there also for blushes I have two I have my Tarte magic 12 hour blush so I have until the end of the month to do my update so I will definitely show you guys my progress this blush like if you've been following my updates or my weekly basket I keep mentioning how it just keeps getting brighter like I am now down to using that blush with a fluffy that blush with a fluffy brush when I started it I had to use a very dense brush because it wasn't that pigmented and I'm also adding my NARS Gaiti, Gaiti, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a nice bubblegum pink. That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm swatching on both hands now. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's matte. Uh, is it matte? It has a sheen. It's looking matte, but I think it has actually has a sheen. Has a sheen. So that's my blushes. And to set my makeup, I'm using my Sasha Fix It Spray to set it. I have quite a few setting sprays, so... I'm working on that. So that's what I'm using for face. Let's get on to what I'll be using for my eyes. So eyes, I like to, I have stuff that I'm doing pan that palette with three palettes. So I more or less have been working on that. And then for my project pan, I had one pigment which I pressed into one of my palettes. So I have, I have that, but I did add a couple other extra stuff. For primer, I have my Laura Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. That's in a project pan. And for bases, I am working with pencils this week. I do have a Bare Minerals 
my five and one that I got. I added to Project Pan, but for this week I want to work on um, pencils just because that five and one I recently added it to Project Pan, so I don't need to finish it until the next like maybe two months plus. But this has been a Project Pan from the very beginning, and this is my Urban Decay uh, Mildew pencil. This is what I have now. Some people usually trash this because pretty much I have just this. But I have been using it with um, an elf sharpener and yes sometimes I have to take my teeth and try to yank it a bit to get it out. But I'm getting as much. I really want to see how low, how low this can go. So yeah. Other pencils that I have would be this Lord and Berry Black Silk Kajal. And it's more or less like a black and I need to do some smoky eyes to use up some darker colors in my um, palette so that's why I'm gonna put in this to use more or less as a base and an eyeliner all in one then I have two more I have this Ellie Girl glide on gel pencil this one is in gypsy teal now this is a beautiful color and if you guys can see how it's a blue turquoise kind of metallic it's a beautiful I love it I have not given that love in a while and I purchased this late last year. This is Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Violet. I do have some purples in my um, shadows in my project panel, pinky. So I thought this might be nice to pair it with. And we're getting into spring. So today is actually first day of spring. So I thought these fun colors definitely, as my mildew is finishing, I need to have some nice fun colors. So for eyeshadow, I have been working on my comfort zone palette and this is the MAC tan pigment which I press so I have to really work on finishing that and some of the colored base is actually gonna work really well to try to give it a you know a little variation in look another palette that's in my pra pra uh, project pan <laughs> is my MUA in undress me too I use like the matte colors there mainly as my tradition transition if you did not watch any of my weekly baskets for March, I more or less said decide I'm going to focus on this palette for March and then on another palette for April and another palette for June so that I can try and at least work on the palettes and pull from a little variation because even though I was focusing on that um, comfort zone palette, I did use for this look, this green eyeshadow here mixed with a couple of those shadows and this is from my Urban Decay Deluxe shadow box I deposited it and placed it inside here so I wanted to eventually put most of my shadows that I am trying to pan inside here as they finish more or less and I added a couple other shadows this week this is Dong Tong Bronze from Black Radiance it's a nice neutral palette I did swatch it a bit with my fingers to check it out Still have to work, play around with it then I have two pigments here from the brand soft touch this one is called poison and it's like a duochrome blue with some red or is, is that red or purple reflex in it and I've heard too a lot of great things about these pigments and this is called tan pearl from same soft touch reminds me a lot of the MAC pigment and so I want to like see if it's a dupe and test it out so for so that's for eyeshadows. Then we have mascara primer. You saw the liners already. Mascara primer, my Lancome Sills Boost XL. I'm working only on one mascara until the end of March because I need to finish this for Project Pan. That's my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara in black. For liners on my lid. I have two of these were just purchased or recently purchased from Jordana. They're the cut eye liners. I have black leather and I have black brown. I am using black brown on my leather. Because a lot of my looks recently because of the comfort zone have been more brown toned. Um, so I just thought I'll use it. I don't know what you guys think about it. I'm still trying to learn about it. Concealer on the eyes. Having my ex NYX HD Concealer in this is CW04 B. Should I use this more or less to con under eyes? I don't really put a lot of stuff on my blemishes. Um, I don't know. 
So for highlight, I do have the duo here in a Laura tantalizer. So that's what I more or less um, I use for my brow bone too. I forgot to say that. And I use it on my face, so that's like a dual purpose. And I have like a couple highlights in these palettes also. For brows, I have been using, working on my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light. That's where I am at actually. So you get a little sneak peek into updating. I set it with my City Color Bold Brow, which is very gunky. And I define my brows with my City Color Perfect Top Pen. So that is pretty much it for eyes. Let's get on to lips. Let's start with my lip liners. We have Jordana Quick Liner for Lips in Mauve. This is a nice color. I've been actually enjoying it. Enjoying it. It's like a mauve neutral color. Very, very beautiful, especially from like my skin tone. Then this Soft Touch in Candy. Beautiful pink. I actually have it on the line in my lips right now. So that's it there. And then I have two soft touch lipsticks in front of me. And everything seems to be coming crashing. This is Lick Me Purple. And I recent, um, recently got a soft touch purchase um, by Rosie. She has a channel here. She have been looking for these and have not been able to secure them. So she was able to do that for me. This is Lick Me Purple. And yes, I... I'm still on my purple kick. I think everybody's in this purple lavender colors. This is Candy Crush, which is a ball pink. It's a gorgeous color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Bright. Oh, means perfect for like, oops, spring. Yes. Totally Ruano. Then I have, still with some purple lipsticks, this is Sasha Enchanted. It's a beautiful, beautiful, um, this one is more lavender. So that's it there. I know some people say these have really dried out in them, but mine, Enchanted, is actually pretty good consistency. Then I purchased this last year. It's a Dan Me, Danny Mare lipstick in 03. And I was recently in another store when I was looking for the Soft Touch, another beauty supply store. And I saw that they had this and like a couple other colors. So that's it there. You're like, Ron, are you crazy? All of that purple lavender yes and I actually have one more God is gifted to me from makeup hungry it's the name of her channel this is by kiss New York moisture lipstick this is number 19 this is really lilac so that's it there and I'm thinking this is gonna go well for any of these if they look too vampy on me because you know me I don't like vampy colors then I have all these Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. I will be doing a review with swatches on these. And even in my whole video, I did do some swatches. So I'm not going to definitely, not going to, sorry for speaking so quickly. I'm not going to do swatches. So this is Popular, Matte Popular. So a review will be coming on those. This is Matte Pretty. These are love because I'm actually more so in love with this color. Then we have, I think this is Matted Girl, yes? Matted Girl. That It's the purple fuchsia. I wish they had a purple purple. But then I got all of these, right? Then Matte Tees. These are all nice neutral colors that I can use to work. Then we have Matte It Classy. And I'm actually wearing this on top of that lip pencil. Gorgeous color. And then the only red I got was Matte Style. Yes, the caps are quite challenging. So that's your red. And I have one gloss, and this is my... And I want to work and I squeeze it from the Farfi collection from MAC. And this is kind of... I don't know how to put it. Some people say this is a fall color, but I still want to work and finish it. Finishing it. I think with bronzed eyes and bronzed up cheeks, you can actually get us to work. So that is it for this week's basket. I hope you guys... Um, enjoy this week's basket let me know if you're using anything new if you've used anything that i have have here let me know what your thoughts are how they have worked for you i love hearing from you guys feedback is amazing when you guys comment so thank you for watching until next time